So this is Dolly's favourite toy. Lily is a point I think. And she knows that it's me doing it. But she still wants to catch it. So watch. What? Where's it gone? Is that in my hand? Alright, okay. There you go. You know that feeling when you can't find your cat? And you're in the box with the Christmas tree? Mm hmm. So Dolly usually sleeps either in the donut, in the box, or on a scratching post. So I've had this duvet cover drying on this radiator for a few days now. And it used to be where the purple blanket is. Um, so it got lots of fluff on it because Dolly lay on top of the radiator, on, on top of the yard basically. Um, so I got this out to get all the fur off it because I thought otherwise I'm going to have to wash it again. But this is the cutest cat in the world, aren't you? She's just next to me in bed. With the fairy lights and the fake plants from my here in the background. And you're beautiful. It's nice to have you with me. You never stay like this. Hi guys! So we just on the way to my house um, to do some filming. Um, I'm so like dis 
disappointed that um, I didn't get like any footage basically um, of what I've just done today. Um, I don't think I said it. Um, God say. I know that I did a clip of when I was in the car and I think I just said that we were going to my house. Um, but I don't think I could actually, I don't think I actually said what I was doing. Um, and if you don't know, um, it was, sorry, I'm trying to put this stuff in a bin. Um, I was, yeah. Um, sorry, I'm so tired. I've got like work brain. Yeah, I have. I really do. You were very good, weren't you? Um, right, just done some filming for with ITV and NTW, which is Northumberland Town and Weir, NHS Foundation Trust, who are basically my local NHS Trust that <laughs> um that run all of the <laughs> that run all of the um mental health services and like the psychiatric hospitals and stuff. They're like I don't know, they provide us. No offense. Oh sugar. Just give her too many treats. I never said she was overweight. So I really shouldn't have done that. But she's been so good because Dolly had a little part in the filming. They're so cute. Don't know that they're gonna keep it in. They probably won't to be fair. <laughs> um but that's my anxiety at the minute actually. It's the thought of them editing the filming, what they've done, the footage, um and just being like worried that I don't know that it's not gonna like that they might cut out bits that I felt were important or I don't know, done it in a way that like I wasn't happy um, with myself or like how I came across. Um, sorry, I was just trying to like clean my camera because it looks like all grainy in the in the screen when I'm filming. Um, yeah, so I just hope that the edit's quite good. Um, it was good for when I did Made in Time and We Are when I did that interview. Um, but actually, I was just thinking about that and I was thinking that I'm not sure that they edited anything out actually. I know they edited out um, a bit when I did, like took a massive pause because I lost my words. Um, and I said, you'll have to edit this bit. I know they did that. Um, but it was, I, I can't actually think of anything that I said that they did cut out, to be honest with you. Um, I don't know, maybe I've just forgotten. Oh, my washing is piling up again. Um, and it was like a last minute thing to come and film in my house. <laughs> Is I was like, shit, is everything okay? Is it tidy? Is it a mess? And this is my thing about why I didn't manage to get much vlogging was because um, I was in such a rush and I was running late going in. Um, and then, so then I like, I had a rush getting ready didn't have a chance to do my hair or like have a look at my outfit in the mirror to decide if I was happy with it because I changed it about three times and then I was like do I even feel really confident in this um or at least confident enough to record for ITV <laughs> so yeah I would have wanted to have recorded all that and then 
um, we were just all talking so much and things like in between the filming um, and I just to be honest I just like didn't pick my phone up I didn't think of it um, and then I think that um, one of the staff like had my phone to take some behind the scenes photos which to make up for the lack of footage I'm just gonna um, vlog some of that some of those photos for you guys to see if you're not on like Twitter or whatever if you're not following me on there because I'll be posting them on there actually they'll be going on the blog and I'm sure everyone that watches these reads the blog anyway I'll show you guys some of them behind the scenes so she had my phone so um to take the photos yeah um and I'd asked her to do like bits of video but we weren't allowed to <laughs> so I couldn't like film behind the scenes stuff um and then I could have filmed when I was sat by myself while they were interviewing the doctor that came and did his piece um but I didn't even think of it so anyway I'm sorry disappointed myself by not doing that um, but hopefully it's a good piece and everyone can see it and um, I think that it'll go on their website so that people that aren't in this region because it goes on the Time Tees ITV news so that's you know like you can already get it in my kind of area and I know that um, well I know that I've got twice as many readers in America than I have in the UK so obviously a lot of you aren't in my area so I think you'll be able to watch it online but I'll um, tweet the link and stuff once it's done um, so I've just finished um, I feel like I didn't get much sleep last night because Ronnie stayed over and we went to bed kind of late-ish and I had to get up like so much earlier than I'm used to getting up <laughs> um, and it worked out that I had like six hours sleep or something which is not good for me <laughs> so I've got a headache and I'm tired and they've all gone so I'm just tidying up bits and pieces that got left out in the rush to leave the house and then I'm gonna go sit in bed with some food I think I'm gonna have some cereal and some chocolate and take some pain relief for my headache and do a bit of bloggy work I think because I just need to finish a post to go up today actually um i think i'm gonna be able to get a few posts done and like scheduled for the next few days because they're quite the next few ones are going to be like quite easy to do copy and paste and people's answers and stuff <laughs> so yeah hopefully i'll get quite a bit done and then maybe fall asleep um but i haven't really got anything on tomorrow i've got a support session with richmond fellowship um but that's just going to be like doing my food shop and collecting my meds and it's a four it's four hours long now because I got mixed up with how many hours we did and I put down for three but normally it's four so now I've got the four back Um, so it kind of means that I don't even have to I can like wake up when the support worker gets here and get ready like it takes me about two hours to do all my jobs around the house in the morning and get ready so it means I can just do all that while she's here and then I still have two hours left to do everything I need to so I can have a lie in um but yeah that's about it so I'll film those behind the scenes shots for you guys and put them in the end of this vlog um and then I'll probably just leave this into one vlog especially because this is on like nine minutes already um so i hope you're all having a good friday and looking forward to the weekend and i will see you guys soon because it's my birthday very very what is it like four three four five days 
So I'll definitely be vlogging then, hopefully if I remember. <laughs>